years before all of the recent immigrants, historically speaking, recent immigrants came in. The Bantu people, the black people of Southern Africa, came in around about AD 800 uh, to AD 900. That's when they started moving down from Central, uh, from Central Africa. And then of course, the white people started landing in 1652 with the first Dutch settlement. In South Africa, folks, uh, and just in South Africa, I'm not referring to the rest of Africa, we recognize 13 different tribes. And I use the word tribes with inverted commas because there are a lot of people that don't want to be shoehorned into any one of the particular tribes. 80% of our country is black. Uh, the black people make up 80% of the population of South Africa. They speak two major language groups and they're divided into nine different tribes in South Africa. Tribes meaning language of origin or area of origin. You're now getting areas like Cape Town and Johannesburg especially where people don't have a tribal affiliation. You might be English or Afrikaans or Zulu or Chorsa speaking, but um, your affiliation is to the area because you are second or third or fourth generation uh, from that area. The tribes, however, do still play a very important part in South Africa. So we've got nine black tribes. We've got two white tribes because the English and the Afrikaans speaking white South Africans speak totally different languages. Um, I am a seventh generation South African. I am as South African as what you are American. And um, uh, my ancestry is a very mixed ancestry. And I don't even like being regarded as an English or an Afrikaans speaking South African. I'm fluent in both languages. Grew up in an Afrikaans area with an Afrikaans father who had a colored mother. And um, uh, but I don't like all of the uh, all of the pigeonholes that uh, uh, that people try and attribute uh, to uh, in South Africa.